We are here. This is the event. Okay, so this is Archery on the Hill, uh, brought to you by Whales Tales Archery. This is basically a total archery challenge, um, but just put on locally, uh, southern Wisconsin. So, definitely, probably one of the best things in the area. Um, so there's three courses, right? There's a beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Um, I did go yesterday, I shot the beginner and intermediate courses, and today we are going on the advanced course and filming that for you guys. But before we get on that course, we have a 105 yard moose with a clay target on that. So we're gonna be taking the brand new Matthews lift, uh, 100 plus yards, and uh, just sling in a couple arrows, see if we can hit that and then I uh, shoot in the course, so let's get out there. That's what we got out here on the ski hill. Going to target one on the out west. Uh, this is the hardest course that they have out here on this course. I've not shot it before. Let's go find where we're at. So I just finished up the um, 105 yard moose shot. Kind of was shooting it like 104 and a half and hitting a little high honestly so maybe like 104 and a quarter might do it um, we got four more shots waiting they actually are running a special you can get seven shots for 20 instead of six so it's gonna be kind of a hike get up here we're gonna shoot this just give it a good review. We have pulled up to target one. It's like really hard to find because it's dark down in there. Getting a pretty good 66 yards on that. Alright, I can't really tell where I'm aiming. So we're just kind of going to guess. Seems like there's a little dark spot somewhere on it. How did that hit? I don't know, it looks pretty, pretty good. Okay, just my second one in there just for the angles. Okay, and then each and every target, they have a little hole in the turn. Just a nice little trail right up to it. Alright, well, 66 yards. Uh, I believe the left one was my first one, right in the 12 and a 10 there. On that second one. I'll take it. That was pretty cool. It was like right where I thought it was on that thing. Let's let these guys go. Clear. And on to the next one. Target two. Okay, this target two. Uh, from where we are. 64 yards. All right, can't really see the rings too well. We'll go up the back of the leg, mid body. That sounded a little low. Okay. 
Ah, oh, it's terrible. Right height is left. Okay, that's where I wanted. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so took three times, but I got the arrow in where I wanted. Um, I guess the thing to remember is we're literally like hiking up a hill. So it's about the same as having adrenaline pumping through your veins. But it's like 85. I'm already sweating around number two. Oh, okay. Found it. Okay, there's the pull and return. Set the bow down. Jesus Christ, this is like straight up here. All right, first shot was kind of low. We got the height down on the second, but way left. And third shot right in the 12. Uh, I do like it. I'm not having a bunch of rush. All right, here's shot three. Range it up for you. Forty-two. Had some branches hit it, so it's a little high left. One more. And that one. Don't know where it had might have missed. So we've came up to the target. There's one arrow. Oh, would you look at that so yeah we must have hit it just high of the center though but our first shot obviously looking the best through all that brush all right we're at target four let's see how this ram so let's set that up like 45 yards all right, so there is a stump, actually. So you kind of have to um, hang up above that. So we're just gonna make sure to trend a little high. I heard good, good contact. Let's, I don't know, I can't see there. Let's just go check it out. All right. Ooh, yeah, so that was dangerously low. Here's the log you have to shoot over to make the shot. Could have used to be like three inches higher, but I know it's hard to see. It's all dark. All right, number five. Uh, we have an elk out over there, 66. Not the best, you got it, it's foot and it's guts. <laughs> So I, I don't know about this one. I think 
Honestly, you might have had to aim at the log. I don't know, we'll have a target from time to time, especially with something that narrow of a gap and a log blocking it. I'll have that. But, uh, I don't know, I heard there is some much further ones, well over 66 yards, so we'll try those out. Okay, target six, right here, antelope, and I range it 62, I'm gonna range it again, 63. And I'm thinking up the back leg, where the white meets the brown. Not bad. This will do one more. Come up to this thing. Yep, so kind of the line I wanted just left. And that second one I did was low and left. But I don't know, I guess you could argue that might be touching the time. Let me just take a moment. I mean, look at these trails we're walking down way back here. I mean, this is crazy rough terrain. Whole nine yards. I'm literally sliding. Yeah, look at this. Target seven. Thirty-nine yards. Alright. Yep, so two a little low, one a little high. Not the worst in the world. Certainly can do better. Alright, we are on station eight. Um way out there. Let's find it. That is 106 yards. So definitely gonna set it. Maybe uh, see if we can even clear that. This will be a fun one. All right, we are approaching. Oh, Christ. All right, forget which one was my first shot. Um, ten ring on this guy. I had uh, basically 105 yards. One's a little low, a few inches. Uh, probably the farthest target I ever shot, so cool. All right, guys, we made it target nine. I am super sweaty. I think it's like 86 out, and remember this is Wisconsin, so we're not used to that. Um, target nine here. Look at how cool this is. So we got 
Look at this. So we got the water element shooting right across. Look at that. Through the reeds a little too. So you can't even see kind of the rings. You just kind of have to guess and hope it makes it. Ranged 53 yards. Oh, I definitely hit reeds, I'll tell you that. That one I just shot a little higher. Alright, so there is our uh, second shot on the uh, ten ring there, and I see my arrow back there. Um, all this must have knocked it down when I hit it, so just grab that. Yeah, not too bad. I think just aiming a little higher like that was kind of the move, even though you're not going to get the 12. Good. Target time, 57 yards. Can't see, there's so much sweat in my eye. This is what I imagine hunting in the desert must be like. Jesus, I'm being blinded by my own sweat. Must have um, ranged this guy wrong. Cause I had one go under, and the other two are at the bottom. So I guess let's see where that arrow might have gone. I'll find it. Target 11. Forty-one. Alright. Oh, I can't really tell. It looks pretty good. Alright. And right in the 12. Excellent. Okay, target 12. Uh, what is that even? 38 yards. Right where the shade kind of meets. Let's see. Alright, good height. Just kind of right. Alright, so yeah guys, that one was kind of the right height, just a little far right. I maybe thought the dots were in a different spot, but still a decent, decent kill shot. This course is like wandering all over the woods. It's pretty awesome. Pretty, um, pretty lifelike scenarios too out here. Kind of playing in the disc golf course. And we're at 13. 13. Let's see. Like, uh, what is that technically supposed to be? Some sort of coyote wolf looking thing? She's just gonna double. Get 33. Right of the target. Yeah, a little left. 
So yeah, I had those first two low right, one just a hair left. I'll pull those out, get to the next one. My uh, hands are getting so sweaty out here. I'm actually, I have to use the arrow gripper just to get it out to the target. Cause like my hands, they're literally sliding over the arrow. That's how sweaty it is. Okay. Pulling up to uh, 14 here. Second to last target. Oh, and it is a white goat. That's the target. Alright, this guy's at 62. Check that. Alright. This is kind of what I thought right of the target. Not terrible. Not the best. Breathing hard, sweating hard, hands almost slipping off the bow. I have made it to fifth. This is the last target on here. And that moose all the way down there. So hopefully nothing happens. Obviously a pretty technical shot here. All right, this guy is 96, last target. Why am I still if I got a flipper upside down? Where's that bottom thing? Okay, so these are our shots. Um, this is shooting it there at that one yardage, and then I dialed it back. Maybe dial it a little too far, but every single shot seems to be right about that much, so probably should have held over here, but I don't know, 96 yards. So, last target, number 15, 96 yard moose. Just, uh, not the best shooting in the world on it, but hey, we're done at the last. So our next thing, we have another moose to try to hit, the 105 with the clay target. So we have four shots, try it out, hopefully we can get entered. This is to win a bow, basically the same one I have, or a thousand dollars. So we'll take either one of them. Yep. Crazy. Right. I mean, that's one finger on that one. That's buddy of mine. He's a. Yeah. He shot, he shot at this last year. Missed the first time. Next six. Okay, so there were our shots on the moose. Uh, just was finger off of that target to get entered. Um, but. You know, if you get entered, you still have kind of like a 1 out of 20-something chance. Uh, it's for both weekend days of this, so two days of shooters going at that clay. Um, you know, there's not a guarantee you win anything anyways. And I threw uh, a couple dollars at it and just couldn't make it happen, but there is always next year, but uh, just... I feel like I had some tremendous shots today. Some not so good, but um, you know, just getting better. It's kind of my first sort of tack style event, so there's really only up from here, and 
feel like I'm already doing pretty good. So that's going to wrap her up. Just remember to uh, leave a like, uh, hit the subscribe button for more uh, outdoor videos, and I'll see you guys on the next one.